how you can prepare for and settle in Canada if you are arriving during the pandemic. Hi guys, welcome back to Accord TV and if you're new here, my name is Accord and on this channel, we talk a lot about immigration and we diversify into everything else. And most importantly, on this channel, we only vibe on positive vibes only. Moving to a new country is both exciting and very challenging at the same time. But again, it's even worse when you're moving to a new country during a pandemic. But with the right resources and proper planning, you will soon be able to successfully call the vibrant cities and stunning scenery in Canada your home. So you need to do your research. You need to research as much as possible. Canada has several provinces. Now you need to take some time and think, which province do I want to go and settle in? That is, if you have that option, if you're moving into Canada under PNP, let's say you've gotten a PNP for Manitoba, then it means you can only go to Manitoba and stay there for two years before you can move anywhere else. But if you're moving to Canada under a general PR thingy, then you're free to move into any province. So about the provinces, before you make a move, you need to take some time to research. And I'm going to give you some few pointers that you need to check on before you decide which province you're going to settle in. So first thing you want to check is which province is best for your career. Each province's government releases regular market reports. For their province this can be helpful to determine if your career is in high need in your desired living area another thing you may want to consider is are you prepared for the lifestyle and the weather weather and language preferences vary across provinces so basically what this means is there are provinces in canada which only speak French and the other provinces which speak mostly English and the other provinces which have a balance of both both English and French so you want to consider where do you want to go settle which language are you most comfortable with and again you want to consider the weather a place like Manitoba is super 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 cold places like Saskatchewan are super super cold so if you're thinking about a warm environment then you want to go to British Columbia or you better still want to go to Ontario another thing you want to consider is are you taking advantage of the newcomer tools there are several free resources to help you find a job find a place to live and also find schools for your children and better still assess your language needs and as you're planning for all this you also need to consider that there are going to be delays because of corolla okay <laughs> there are going to be super delays so you need to have that in your plan like at the back of your mind and of course there are also going to be mandatory isolation requirements now you need to get set to arrive before your arrival date you need to understand how this sister could impact your citizenship depending on your citizenship status you may be allowed to leave your country even if your country has current travel ban in place a few other things you need to do before you book your plane ticket. You need to monitor your health. You need to remember that if you have a relation with this sister here, you will not be allowed to enter Canada. You need to schedule yourself for testing. Every traveler above the age of five must have a certificate showing that they are okay. Health certificate for this sister. You need to show your results 72 hours before you board the plane. What you must also have in place is a place where you can go and quarantine for 14 days. If you don't have a relative or a friend who can host you in one of their rooms for 14 days, then you need to consider booking an Airbnb or a hotel or a motel somewhere in Canada for you to quarantine for 14 days before you can be allowed to move around. You need to draft a realistic budget. You need to have money when you're moving to Canada. Not just coins. You need to have enough money. So for the first six months when you're still new in Canada, you do not struggle. Because you must not forget that you must have a house. You must take your children to school. You must buy clothing, especially jackets to keep you warm. Jackets, gloves, all those things that people need to keep themselves warm. And you also need to furnish your house. And you'll also need some resources to go out there to try and look for a job okay so budget have a realistic budget for your immigration from your home country into canada uh-huh next point find your documentations quickly as soon as you arrive in Canada, there are documentations which are mandatory and you need to try and get them as soon as possible, like quickly. So three major documentation that you must make sure you get quickly once you arrive in Canada. The first one of them is permanent resident card. New residents should receive this as part of the immigration process. And this card is your official proof of Canada residency and is very necessary when you travel abroad. Another document is provincial health card. 
This card allows you health and medical coverage. Typically, there is a waiting period for your coverage to begin. This may vary on individual. For some, it may take a month. For some, it may take two weeks. For some, it depends on case to case and, of course, how busy those people are in their offices. And another very important document, the third one, is social insurance number. Your social insurance number allows you to work in Canada and also access government services. You'll also need your social insurance number to pay taxes. Obtaining these documents will make it easier for you to complete other important activities like open a bank account and of course start working. Finding a job during this unique season. Ideally, it's best for you to get a job before you move into Canada. But again, it may take time for you to get that job. So you just move and then you start looking for a job. So when you're looking for a job, start with government job search. Have your certificates. Get your educational credentials ready to start searching for a job and also check the website newcanadianjobs.ca which is a list of jobs that welcome newcomers so how are you going to live in your new country with the new our sister here restrictions ideally before the pandemic you'd get into canada and you're walking around shops going to the supermarkets going to the malls you'd, uh, you'd start familiarizing yourself with the environment checking out on your neighbors you know being everywhere and living a free life but for now because of what is happening because of the pandemic movement is restricted Treated. You get to Canada, you do your 14 days quarantine, and then you move to your own place. You cannot go to the shops, you cannot go to the market because it's not allowed. Okay, so what you want to make sure of is familiarize yourself with online shopping because what you'll be doing is you'll be doing your shopping online. Go online, make your orders, and then things are delivered to your doorstep. So you want to check if Grocery Getaway or Walmart Grocery Delivery is available in your area. I apologize for my lighting, guys. This seems to be a bit of changes. It's like, let's hope we get to finish this video. <laughs> Yeah, so you'll need to buy your things in bulk and just stock, you know, detergents, groceries and everything that you need for the house. You can do weekly purchases so you don't have to keep on buying things, buying things and getting deliveries all the time. So you order for your things weekly and things are dropped into your house and that's how you'll have to live until the pandemic is over. But until then, you'll just have to persevere and live your own lonely, isolated life until things clear up and everyone else can now come out and just live life normally. Okay, okay, guys, that's all i have for this video thank you so much for spending time with me if you've gotten value out of this video please remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe share with your friends and i hope to see you all in the next video bye